All right, earlier this year, the Los Angeles Super Bowl host committee recognized 56 local organizations as champions in the community. Now, these champion organizations received a grant to help support their work in diverse areas across the Los Angeles community. Inglewood's 40 Love Foundation is showcasing how tennis can lead to success on and off the court. Hometown Hero, sponsored by Rotolo Chevrolet. It's a punch. It's a punch, okay? Not a swing. Don't swing at it. There you go. Let's go all the way back, though. The beginning of 40 Love Foundation. It's 2016, I believe, was when it was launched. Yes. How did this happen, and how long did it take to get going? I love sports. I played tennis, and I want to give back. And I went to the park, and I saw all these kids playing tennis. And I basically was like, how can we help these kids? But it took about four years to be recognized by the city of Inglewood. And after since then, it just the program just flourished. Why tennis and why was this the focus of the nonprofit and what you wanted to do to be able to help the kids in this community? Tennis is what I knew. I grew up playing tennis when I was seven and tennis was my safe haven. What's the benefit? We know because we're in sports, right? So we see how this can change a kid's life moving forward. I think with sports, a lot of people think that we're trying to create the new Serena or the next Kobe, but it's not like that. Sports can develop a lot of things in a child at, a, at an early age. I'm Venus. I'm Serena. I saw it last month you guys hosted a King Richard viewing party. Yes. Everybody knows the story of the, of the Williams sisters. I think the movie definitely um, plays a part with what we're trying to do with the community. Tennis is a sport that, as you know, is, it's, it's for the wealthy. When I started this, it was exposing the sport to the underserved. Do the kids here, any of the girls, do they talk about them, the Williams sisters? Yes. What do they say? Those are the only two players that they really know. Yeah. <laughs> because, well, I mean, that's the reality. it's reality. And on top of that, that's how big of an impact that they made in the community. After we saw the movie, at least half our kids came out by themselves. Get there, get there. Nice, sorry. I grew up uh, with a uh, nonprofit organization over at uh, Rancho with uh, Richard Williams and Fred Williams. The kids get a chance to see what the coaches are talking about if you put the work in, if you're coming up, showing up to work out, showing up to uh, do your tennis, showing up for your studies. No, no, uh, no telling what you can do with this game of tennis. What is it that keeps them coming back? We try to make it fun, also while learning. You know, you can see your, you see your progress. Go! Tennis players are straight-A students, and so this is just a vehicle for you to get to there. You don't have to pay for college. Watch out what you're doing! I've been known since she was five years old, and she had a dream to produce kids the way she was produced with tennis. And I'm actually landed back where I, where I started, so in the inner city, so I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy to be here with the kids and Doris. The Super Bowl 56 Legacy Program, Champions Live Here, will celebrate the unsung heroes in our community. You are one of the organizations that's been locally recognized to get a grant. What does that nod and that honor from the Super Bowl host community mean to you and this organization? It means everything. We are still a small business. It just goes to show us that we're doing something right. But I didn't think that we would get it because there's so many organizations around this area. And the kids were blown away. I was going to say, how did the kids the, react? The kids were like, <laughs> we're famous. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, not yet. Go Hunter. We're not famous yet, but we are seen. What do you want to see moving forward for this program? I had this dream. I accomplished it. Now I'm, I got a bigger dream. We have eight courts here. We have 102 students. So our next goal is to have maybe 400 students or go into the school systems and try to get kids to play tennis. When I grew up, I was lost. And then when someone saw me, like actually saw me, that's when my life changed. I don't know what I do for these kids. I don't know the impact that I have for these kids, but I mean, the fact that they still come back, the fact that they still say, you know, coach, I'm coming tomorrow, or are you gonna be here tomorrow, is everything to me.